Okay friends, today we are going to learn 2015 SSLC paper solution mathematics. So here what is given question number 1. In the following real numbers, which one is the non-terminating repeating decimal expansion? So do you know what is non-terminating repeating decimal numbers? So where it will be repeating? Okay, so it will not be completely divisible. So let us take from here 1 by 7. So when you divide 1 by 7, you will get 0 0.14285. Again, 14285. It will not be completely divided. Okay, so we will get here. 0.14285 but so here the answer will be 1 by 7 next question number 2 also so now question number 2 so what is given here find the correct answer root 7 so root 7 is an integer or a rational number or a prime number or an irrational number you know very well what is irrational number if the number cannot express in the form of p by q and we cannot express this root 7 in the form of p by q therefore root 7 is an irrational number mm. now question number 3 so sum of the zeros of the cubic polynomial is given we have to find out here so you know very well the form is what a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d so from here we have to find out the value of a b c and d so here a means what 3 then b means minus 5 c means minus 11 and d means minus 3 and we need to find out here the sum of the cubic polynomial it means alpha plus beta plus gamma it will be how much minus b by a so minus b means what is the value of b here minus 5 so minus 5 and what is the value of uh, a here a means 3 so the answer will be 5 by 3 option d is the answer okay now question number 4 under what conditions roots of the quadratic equation x square plus px plus q equals 0 will be real and unequal just write the form standard form ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 so to get real and unequal we got before what is the formula b square minus 4ac greater than 0 okay because real and unequal so the formula will be what here b means here p then p square minus 4 into a means what a means here 1 so 1 and c means what c means q greater than 0 that means what you will get p square minus 4 q greater than 0 that means the option number c is the correct answer now come to the question number 5 question number 5 what is given here if the sides of two similar triangles are in the ratio sides ratio how much given sides 1 by side 2 equal 4 by 9 then they are asking then area of the triangles are in the ratio so area 1 by area 2 to find this one we need to put directly whole square of the previous sides so 4 square by 9 square that means you will get 16 by 81 the answer is 16 is to 81 ready hmm. now question number 6 they are asking here distance between the points 1 0 and minus 1 0 so you know very well to find the distance formula is what equal x2 minus x1 x2 is here minus 1 so minus 1 minus from here 1 whole square again 0 minus 0 whole square so what will get here minus 1 minus 1 means minus 2 whole square so what will get here now square root of 4 and square root of 4 is 2 the right answer is 2 now question number 7 if the angle of elevation of the sun so let us say the triangle right triangle okay angle of elevation how much given here 45 degree then the ratio between the tower this tower is called perpendicular and uh, shadow shadow means this is our base okay so you know very well the trigonometry ratio is what they are permanently black that means 10 angle is 45 10 45 equal perpendicular by base that means p by b okay 10 45 means how much 1 so p by b equal 1 is to 1 <laughs> Now question number 8, area of sector of an angle, let us write the circle here, area of sector, the angle is here, P, in degree of a circle with radius R, radius is capital R, then angle theta is here, P, so they are asking the area of sector, okay, from here to find out the correct answer, so we know very well, to find the area of sector, the formula is theta by 360 into pi R square, then here theta means P, P by 360 into pi r square since from here we're not getting the exact answer so we have to multiply here by 2 and here dividing by 2 so what we'll get here directly p 
e by 3 720 into twice pi square the right option is option number d question number nine the wicket taken by a bowler in 10 cricket match how much given here from starting from 2 6 4 5 0 3 1 3 2 3 from here we to find out the mode okay mode means what the highest number of observation from the events so which digit is getting here highest time can you find here so you can check out one how many times one is only one time then how many times two is given here one two times two and what about three three one two three so we got here three three times then five only one then that means the highest number of observation here we are getting from three that's why the answer is three okay now question number 10 a die is thrown once the probability of getting a prime number prime number means what it will have only two vectors one and the number itself okay so from the die when you draw when it will be thrown then we will get the numbers one two three four five and six so total outcomes how many are there six out of this how many prime numbers are there you can check two three and five so the favorable outcomes regarding the divine is three then so will be cancel it one by two so then so one by two so numbers now question number 11 they are asking to find out this value of this econometric ratio so just make it convert it one plus sine 10 square means sine square by cos square then one plus cot square means cos square by sine square take lcm now what we'll get here up we'll get cos square theta then cos square under cos square plus sine square that means it gives us one similar here also you will get lcm our sine square theta then here sine square sine square plus cos square gives us one then just reverse it what we'll get here up you'll get sine square theta and below you'll get cos square theta that means the answer is 10 square theta is the answer yes option number d is the correct answer now question number 12 this is the last question of 2015 this is what is given here three metallic spheres radius 6 6 this is r1 then second one is radius how much given here 8 third one is radius is 10 so when we melt it and they're asking to find out a new sphere radius okay that means you have to add the volume of this three and you will get the new sphere volume okay that means what it will be 4 by 3 pi r1 cube then again 4 by 3 pi r2 cube 4 by 3 pi r3 cube and equal 4 by 3 pi at new circles radius r cube okay so you can cancel out directly 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi 2 by 3 pi that's also correct so what remains here r1 cube means how much here uh, our 6 cube plus r2 is means what 8 cube plus again uh, our what is that 10 cube means 1000 so what we'll get here it said r cube so when you make it you will get 216 plus 512 plus 1000 so that's right capital r cube so you'll get here 1728 equal capital r cube so when you break it factorize it you will get here 12 cube it said r cube so that cancel cube cube the answer is 12 centimeter the answer is 12 centimeter thank you friends